Now, what are dApps? We briefly mentioned this before when introducing Ethereum. These are decentralized applications that can operate autonomous, autonomously on chain using smart contracts. We mentioned smart contracts in, in reference to Ethereum before. So we have applications that are, are not focused on a central authority or a central uh, point. Uh, how do they work? Their backend code is written on a decentralized network. Um, Ethereum is the main use case or main use, uh, mostly used uh, blockchain network for these contracts. Um, they're written in code. So the logic is written in the contract and no individual or company is dictating what's happening. So the advantages and disadvantages of dApps. Dapps uh, provide a safeguard for user privacy. Uh, they lack censorship so because nobody controls them and there's flexibility in development. But the disadvantages are right now the inability to scale specifically on the Ethereum network and the difficulty in making code modifications because of immutability. So that's fine at the current moment in time, but it will evolve. Um, not dApps in the same form, but I do recommend looking into crypto exchanges that do have forms of applications that you could test different features uh, to trade crypto. Um, this is just important to understand uh, that there are applications that are being built to kind of uh, tie in both fiat and cryptocurrencies and to understand how to connect the two worlds. But there are new dApps being built every single day. And we'll talk about assets that are being built on on chain as well.